I think it's safe to say that you can stop freaking out about getting your hearing aids wet in the summertime. Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. This is vlog number 279, and today I want to talk to you guys about waterproofing inside of hearing aids, and I promise this will not be boring. Do me a huge favor though before we get started, make sure you click the like button, it really helps out the channel. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well. It is greatly appreciated. Okay, so every summer, I'm talking every single summer, I have patients who come in and they're like, oh my gosh, I was at the pool, I didn't even get in the pool, but I'm worried that my hearing aids have a ton of water buildup inside of them and that they're gonna stop working. Or, hey, I jumped in the shower real quick after I got done at the pool and I forgot I had my hearing aids in and I think I killed them. And here's the thing, I wanna set the record straight. Hearing aids are extremely resistant to water nowadays, okay? Now, back in the day, if you looked at a hearing aid weird, it would start to malfunction, all right? now. There are issues that are in certain states, if you live in like the southeast of the United States, that you can run into some more moisture related issues because you're constantly like living in this cloud of, of water down in that part of the country during the summer. In the southwest where I'm at, I mean, it's so dry out here to where like water just evaporates off of your hearing aids without a whole lot of issues, okay? If you live in the Midwest in the summertime and in the Northeast, okay, so basically everywhere except for the Southwest in the United States, yes, there's a lot of humidity in the air. But here's the thing, I think a lot of people overly stress out about getting their hearing aids wet. Let's talk about IP ratings here for a second. So IP stands for ingress protection and a hearing aid will have an IP rating of like IP12 or IP68. Now, if you have an IP rating of one, two, it means that the debris resistance, which is indicated by the one, is a very low level of resistance. And the two is the moisture rating, which is a very low level of moisture resistance. But then when you start getting up to the upper echelons of debris and moisture resistance, you get up into the IP68 ratings. The six stands for the debris, the eight is for the moisture again. Now the hearing aids that are being produced nowadays, most of them have an IP68 rating, which means you can pretty much dunk them in a bucket of water, leave them in there like overnight, wake up in the morning, go and pull it out of there, dry off the hearing aid and it'll still be functional. Now, the exception to that is that if you actually have a bead of water sitting over the microphone or a bead of water inside the receiver tip, like your wax trap of the receiver, yeah, you're not gonna get any sound out of it, but the hearing aid will still be functional. That is how water resistant hearing aids are nowadays. Now, the exception to this is that if you have water shooting into the hearing aid, meaning like you have a shower that's on like full blast, I don't know if you've ever seen the, the Seinfeld episode where they get the same type of shower heads that they use at the circus to clean the elephant, if you have a really strong stream of water and you actually rupture physically the microphone of a hearing aid, you'll hear like a sizzling bacon sound typically. But that is, is a few and far between. Most people do not shoot water into their hearing aids. The biggest thing that people need to worry about is the long-term exposure to humidity and moisture. So again, this is in certain states during the summertime where you just have a lot of humidity in the air. But even then, a lot of times an IP68 rated hearing aid can withstand that. If it can't, or rather if you're worried that it won't, you can always get a dehydration system. You know, I've promoted the Redux system on my channel before where you can actually dehydrate your hearing aids at home. There are other options that are out there too to dehydrate your hearing aids. But you may have noticed that a lot of the rechargeable hearing aids nowadays, there, it's very hard to find any of those rechargeable cases that have desiccants in them anymore because the manufacturers know that they're likely not going to be running into too many moisture related issues with those hearing aids. So instead of equipping their chargers with a desiccant pot inside of them, they're like, hey, listen, the likelihood's so low, let's not even put that in there anymore. And of course, you're covered under warranty. It's not like a, a phone or something like that where if you drop it in the water and it shorts out, they have a way of knowing that and they don't cover that. Hearing aids are different. If you get them completely waterlogged, you can always send them back under warranty and get them refurbished or replaced by the hearing aid manufacturer. So honestly, I don't think you should spend a whole lot of time worrying about it. The thing that you probably should spend time with uh, worrying about is that if you are wearing your hearing aids and you jump off of a, a boat into a lake, and the water rushes uh, you know, into your ear and knocks your hearing aid out and drops to the bottom of the lake. That's something I would actually worry about because you know, even if you know where that happened at, the chances of you finding that hearing aid are very low. 
And in that case, you have to file loss and damage claim to get another hearing aid from the manufacturer to replace the one that you lost. But I wouldn't really spend too much time stressing out about water getting into your hearing aids. And again, some hearing care professionals offices, if you do get your hearing aids wet, you can go in, they pop them in their professional dehydration machine, pull out all the moisture, and then your hearing aid's good to go. But uh, you would be surprised at how few moisture related issues we have today compared to what we had just five, 10 years ago. Five, 10 years ago, the IP ratings were not as high as what they are right now. And so we would run into repeated issues with moisture exposure. And in most cases, most people do not have to worry about having too much moisture build up inside of their hearing aids. Um, but you know, if you're worried about it, you can always get a dehydration system at home, like I mentioned earlier, or you can make sure that you have a hearing care professional that has a, a system that is in their office that within a few minutes, they can pull all the moisture right out of your hearing aids. But let me know what you guys think. Have you ever had a hearing aid damaged because of water exposure? I would really like to know down in the comment section and tell me what make and model of hearing aid that was as well to see if any of these new modern day hearing aids with IP68 ratings are still running into moisture related issues.